Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this unit, we will talk about acids and bases. So let's begin with some theories for acids and bases. Before that, what exactly is an acid or a base? And where do we find these acids and bases in our daily life? One of the simple example of acid is stomach acid, which is hydrochloric acid. Also, the fruits which we eat, they contain citric acid. Then there is soda which we drink, contains carbonic acid. And what about the cleaners and soaps? They are basic in nature. So let's now think about what an acid is in chemistry. An acid is a substance which, when dissolved in water in aqueous solution, produces hydrogen ion. And a base is a substance which, in aqueous solution, produces hydroxide ion. It's that simple. We also use a term alkaline when we talk about the solution of bases. And then, just keep in mind, there are some bases which are little different. They are amine bases. They contain nitrogen, hydrogen and sometimes carbon too. One of the example of such base is ammonia. Alright, let's talk about some acid base theories. The first theory is a very basic theory. That's called Arrhenius theory. What is the theory about? According to this theory, an acid is a substance which can form hydronium ion in water. What is a hydronium ion? It is simply H3O with a positive charge. And how is it formed? Actually, the acid dissociates and it forms hydrogen ion and that combines with water to form hydronium ion. What is a base then? A base is a substance which in aqueous solution can produce hydroxide ion. Now, there are some advantages of Arrhenius theory and there are some drawbacks and limitations. What are those? First of all, the theory is extremely simple and that's, that's why we can easily identify acids and bases using this theory. What are the drawbacks? Some of the bases, like those funky nitrogen bases like ammonia, they will be difficult to explain using Arrhenius theory. So then we go to the next theory, and that is bronsted lowry theory. This theory makes use of proton, and actually a proton is nothing but hydrogen ion. So according to this theory, an acid is a substance which donates a proton and a base is a substance which is accepting a proton. So how does it work? HCl is hydrochloric acid as we all know. If that acid dissociates and that hydrogen ion or a proton is given out and then we end up having chloride ion remaining that makes it an acid. Look at ammonia. When ammonia combines with water, if ammonia is able to accept a proton and form an ammonium ion, then that is called as a base. So that's pretty interesting, right? Now there is one more theory, which is Lewis theory. And this takes electron for help in explaining acids and base. So an acid is the one which will be accepting electron pair around of course central atom and a base is the one which will be donating electron pair. So look at this. We have ammonia and boron trifluoride as two substances here. With Lewis dot structure we can clearly find that ammonia has an unshared pair of electrons. So ammonia can actually donate electrons and boron trifluoride is going to 
accept the electron. So the one which donates the electron is a base and the one which accepts is called as an acid. So look at that. We were easily able to identify acids and bases using all three different theories. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll continue in next video with more acids and bases. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.